Hey guys, it's me, Reese Furrow here, back again with yet another toy showcase. Now this one is going to be big. Probably not as big as Bakugan, but big nevertheless, because today... It's today... We're going to be looking at Code Lyoko. Yes. My whole feel of Code Lyoko toy collection that I have gathered throughout the years. And we're going to be looking through each and every one of them today. And this may already be like a long video so why don't we get started first off of the line of Hobioko toys are the little standees the tiny little mixing that were coupled with the like four stands with like with like a plastic set piece that are supposed to be like scenes from a Holyoke episode like this one with Santa Fe Jeremy from Mr. Puck this one from Jeremy the Yanner on or in Jim I assume being like coat Earth, I think, and in Yumi on Ulrich in this little mini tank, there was like a tarantula set piece, but I think I lost that. With set pieces from the desert sector from the episode Final Mix. There was other episodes like St. Valentine's Day and um, Tate Yosilla with the William set piece, which does not make any sense. But yeah, these little dandies are very easy to lose and quite very easy to not over from the point but they are kind of looking a bit cool seeing from up close seeing how they are in little tiny figure form I kind of like the style and detail that they put into the little tiny miniature figure thing, even odd overboard, which is kind of cool. And it has like odd doing this little thing and looking. Almost exactly the uh, in Lyoko with his little tail. But these are like from season one to three. We'll get to season four in a moment. But what I like is like But what I like is the kind of little mini scanner. Where I thought it was kind of cute. It came with like the center piece, like two boards that's supposed to make up the hollow, the hollow map. Yeah, that was kind of like a nightmare to set up, but it was kind of fun nonetheless to try to get the. That piece look like the episode. 
Will creepy cure me with his white out glasses. But they look kind of cool looking at him in his computer chair. Kind of sad that there wasn't like a Jeremy figure for Theory 1 to 3 by Marvel Toy. <laughs> Little tiny Jim, Jim Morales. Oh, I knocked over all the skateboard. And I kind of like this figure of Santify Jeremy. It shows how angry he is possessed by Santa. And it took a little bit of detail to get all of that electricity out of his arm. I kind of like that detail. And for the longest time, this, this was considered to be my only Eileta figure. Because I did not, like, get the Eileta figure for Theory 1 and 2, or Theory 1 to 3 from Marvel Toy. But yeah, these are the dandies. Next up on the line are, are the scanners, or what they call virtualization chambers, only for on or There was not a chamber for Aileta or Yumi, sadly. What you do, you, you have your real world odd, you turn, you turn the knob, and you hear it hum his Leo form, ready to be posed in the action. Now, see these little blue markings? Yeah. Sorry about that. These little blue markings were marks of me playing them rough and try to pose them in ways that I tried to as a kid and ended up breaking them off because they were so fragile. Yeah, I love my little toy. But anyway, here's Odd. And here's Ulrich. Uh. I'm sorry about that. Or looking like, help me. <laughs> uh, hold on. There we go. Looking better. Yeah. I was kind of a bit weirded out how his, like, the bottom half of his samurai outfit kind of had a little bit of a lighter color opposed to his more darkish color. But, I guess they could only do what they could in the toy version. But I still like it nonetheless. And the next we're going to be talking about are the ones that come with the vehicle. <coughs> Much less the racing vehicle. You me with overwing, I with overboard, and my posably miserable Ulrich with his overbite. Now, the overwing and overbite both have the little missile thing attached to their vehicle. You mean overwing has the little Santa 
kind of projectile would do to like push a button in between her feet to eject out. Odd vehicle does not have any weapons of any sort. And the funny thing about Odd and Oric is that their vehicle counterpart also came with their own RC version that I did not yet or didn't bother to get while I was at Toys R Us in Fargo all those years ago. And pretty much, yeah. I also want to still preface I did not get an Ilya figure for theory one to three. And it's kind of sad because I wanted to complete the figure collection and also have that little tower interface thing. I wanted to get that little tower interface thing with the code Lyoko on it. Just like I seen all the other images. I tried to get Odd and Yumi on there and they actually done it with ease. But Ulrich was too miserable and I think I lost the second Ulrich to moving and also the fact that his arms are kind of loose in the way that I was too rough on him. Along with Yumi's um, left arm. Sorry, Yumi. That also goes with this odd hand. And also with the tail. Sorry, odd. And also this odd head. Fragile. Fragile. They do not want to stay. Insert tedious more setting up here. Or an overbite is way too trigger happy with it little missiles here for the bite light. And like I said, our head is a little bit all over the place. But I still kinda like how it looks. Again is it here? If you think the actual Hobio show, uh, overboard eyes are more out there, more and more longer. So this thing, yeah. Anyway, those are the vehicles. And now we get started on the monsters of Lyoko. First up we have the Mega Tank and Block. Mega Tank with the with the two projectiles on each side popping out with the timer. And the block figure with the three-way attacking mechanism with those 360 degrees. <coughs> and those were theory one to three. 
and I didn't get these until like way later via Amazon. And these two are from the season four Spanish figures. Mostly from an Uber and Aileta season four uh, collection where we have the Conger from the initial C. Look at all that detail, huh? All those teeth and that tongue. Where do you find the sim symbol? Right there. Not in capital in the name, but tattooed right there on his tail. Where it's supposed to be an A down there. But yes, they couldn't do that. And another one. I'm starting to get irritated with the Infinity Marvel toy. Anyway. The next monster here is the Flying Manta, which is iconic in their theme in Chapter 5. We have the project projectile where you can launch with the button here. And they also have the little their little faces in there. And have their long Santa eye and they also came with a little tail too. I thought that was kinda cute. I kind of do like the overall attention to detail that they put on such a flat object. Now, there was a William figure. Now, they put out so many versions of Season 4 William that they came with a black manta with I never got. But I do like the manta and the hunger and the block all the same. Meta tank over there. Still is a thorn in my side. It and it timer. Hurt me to no end. Yep. There it goes the There it goes the projectile. Hold on. And here it is. The make it ain't open. Revealing all the Goopy you inside and all the wires, all the golden marble inside with the Santa eye in the middle. I always wonder why it retracts these eyes from the outside and they can't really hit them outside. I wonder why. They always have to wait from... They always have to wait to hit in the inside. Like, why can't they just nab all these other eyes out in the open on the shelf? That's what I want to know. But I guess to make things interesting, they always have to hit the eye that's on the inside. And I did kind of like the fact that the Santa Eye can't get a 3D model inside of the Meta Tank as like a target. And also as a way to like fire 
353 wall laser. I thought that was kind of neat. And the block. I like how they compensated the night tank. How how they compensate the block three way attack with the normal laser, the I the ice laser and the fire ring. And have this one be the brain eye. I just kind of think sometimes the Santa Eye on this is just kind of weird. But I suppose they have to make it weird because it was their first time making the Lyoko toy, so I guess that's kind of understandable. Looking like this season one block. But I still kind of like the Spanish season four version of the Lyoko toys better because they have more better attention to detail. They look like they actually came from the actual show. Not the finicky trigger happy easy to fall over figures. But I guess they had to make do with what they can. So yeah. I may hate how they function, but I still like how they look. And the last of Leo toys are the season four figures. Here we have Ulrich with his sabers and his bonus pack. With Hutton detached from uh, from his back here, he has a little detachable pack for for that thing. Trying to make him stand up. Here we have the two William. Real and virtual with the Santa Blade, his sway hand there, with also glows in the dark too. I'm not lying. Yeah, and these are from Spain as well. And my crown jewel. My season four Ilika figure with little energy ball and wings. Now the Ulrich and Ilita were coupled with the Conger and Manta figure pack, and William. I actually got for Christmas one other year. I think it was 2017, I think. I think it was 2017. I think so. And... And I also got Ulrich before I got the William. And I was supposed to be getting the Ilita figure along with this, but Amazon had an error with Ilita and Manta, and I only, and I was only left with Ulrich and the Conger, but they had an error, and that just left me super disappointed because. It was going to be my chance to get an Ilita figure. But, now that I have it, I feel like it's all complete. 
want to keep Ilya from falling over. And seeing the detail that they put into the face and the hair. This is kind of awesome. The way that Spanish toy made the all the detail. And even Eileen's energy ball too. Her energy field or Sean Four. And even even the wing in the detail has spectacular. But her feet Yeah, her feet were kind of crooked, but still I liked it. Her tiny little hands and her tiny little watch that deployed the wings. And even over it little headband. And better attention to detail in the season 4 attire. And I like how they made it too with the... With the shoulder pads as well. And I like that Simba actually... No, the toy company behind the toy took great attention to detail, even on the blade. Yeah, even on the Tentana is kind of awesome. There goes William. <laughs> there goes the other William. Crap. Season 4 William is the only William figure that I have. Real and virtual over there. I kind of like the attention to detail that they give the figures as well. I wanted to get like all of the Season 4 Spanish figures, but I guess I couldn't really get them all in time. I mean, I don't have like Odd or Yumi of Season 4, like I do the other toys down there. But I guess I can hate what I got in earnest. And I do like the little attention to detail, especially on Santa Fe William here. He got that little eye of Santa on his forehead, fighting like get focused. I'm sure you can, like see it here. The little Santa eye on it. Chat and a sway hammer. Somebody told me once when I lived at Prairie Tower that the dark view that is on William Blade looks like blood. And I guess I guess that is kind of like the mistake they were trying to make. Instead of making it all black and stuff for like the tower goo that's supposed to be like a representation of Santa. But one other thing I like that they put on the William toy is his little is his little arm thingy. His metallic armband which is supposed to reflect any, like, sword or arrow or anything, fire, and, like, repel it 
to decrease damage. And I still like these little lake guards. Kind of. And there goes the sword. But I have a little bit random attention to detail with his little light guard and they got the little belt on him. But I still kinda like it. And his big boots. I kinda like the attention to detail on the boots. Like I was kind of glad that I got the William toy because William season 4 appearance was the most thought out and searched up thing for Kobioto for like the whole time for season 4 and everyone wanted like the 350 degrees of how William Sanify looked because a lot of artists were kind of like including me was kind of confused as to what he might look like what his weapons are what his abilities are And even after season 3 with the season 3 finale, like, final round with William season 3 form, I think his hair was like so complicated that it tried to... I think it tried to transition well from it to the look but I think it tried I think it really tried but anyway I still like these season 4 figures because they are more like they are less prone to falling over to break apart and I think the people in Spain learn from Marvel Toys' mistake. And they also did came, they also did come with their own, like, little Marvel top, um, little figurines, their little mat of the scepters, and their own version of the vehicle, which I do not have. But, I really wish that they would have, like, had more monsters instead of, like, the Conger and the Manta and even the Black Manta for William. But, I guess they did what they could do. And I really like the attention to detail and the overall presentation. And that's pretty much it for my Kobio toy collection. I know, it's really big and really awesome. And I've actually had people comment to me how much they would like to pay for any of my figures because they are they are essentially collector's item for any Kobioko fan, especially me. And I have been a fan of Kobioko ever since the beginning. And I would suggest people go watch Kobioko from the beginning all the way to Evolution. Well, maybe not Evolution, but Seasons one to four are kind of good. They might be rep they might be repetitive, but the action in it is still kind of neat. 
and I keep them all in my Fireman 3 tin. Yeah. That. Ah. Uh, but yes, yeah, I keep them all in my Fireman 3 tin. Just because. Even though they're finicky, even though they are what they are, I still like them nonetheless. So, yeah, this is my Code Leo toy collection video. And I hope you guys like what I got to share with you. I know I do not have the whole complete complete set, even to build a crab, but I got what I got, and I am glad what I have here. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of the whole collection. Like, drop a comment if you want to see more. And drop a like. And I'll see you guys. In the next video. See ya. Nice coming in on my Leah. Say goodbye.